Bach is part of my life, always and will always be part of my life. It was a must for me to record the violin concertos with the Academy of St. Martin in the Fields. We started working together many, many years ago. And on one night, uh, Sir Neville actually said to me, you know, I don't think you actually need me here. Why don't you do something with them without me? In Bach's violin concertos, violin is actually part of the orchestra was just coming out occasionally. A conductor is kind of not really necessary. And I apologize to all my fr conducting friends. I love to hear about authentic interpretation and, and Baroque violence. However, we do not know how it was actually played. So the freedom of interpretation is much wider than some people might think. I do believe that I'm playing for the people of the 21st century. Bach was certainly influenced by Vivaldi and especially Vivaldi's virtuoso playing. So you find, actually, for his time, very virtuoso passages in the concertos. It might not sound like that to us today since we are used to Paganini and everything that came after Bach, but for that time, actually, they were very virtuoso pieces. The concerto for oboe and violin is actually it's actually my favorite concerto. I've always been a devoted teacher. I started actually to give lessons at the age of 15, 16, maybe just master classes for kids, but um, I was always very interested in teaching. It is a very important part of my life. The Bach violin concertos, together with maybe the Four Seasons by Vivaldi, are the most important concertos of the Baroque time for any violinist. Bach is like the Bible to, to musicians. You find something eternal and something that, that counts for all times.